How you doing? My name is Lucas. I'm a recent graduate from Coin College. I now work at Guardian Heating and Cooling. Uh, what Coin means to me is a brand new future that I didn't see before. And it led me to a new exciting job that I didn't fully feel confident in when I first started out. Winning the CAIEF scholarship also helped me boost my confidence because of the fact that it meant to me that other people were investing in my future. Not just the fact to help me pay my tuition, but it also helped me realize that it wasn't just me that was investing in my future, that other people were willing to be generous and kind and invest in my future and believe in me in order to award me the award. My favorite aspect experience in COIN was, I would say, dealing with the teachers. Um, a lot of them are kind of like mad scientists in a way, and to watch them work, it's just kind of, you step back and you are just kind of awed at the fact that they know so much and that they can really handle any problem that comes at them. So that was my favorite aspect. I would say one of the most difficult parts was writing the essay, what you wanted to say. I didn't want to come out and sound like a sob story, um, even though I very well could easily have done so. I just didn't want to come out and sound like I was begging for money. I wanted to uh, sound like a strong, confident person, like I feel I am. So hence why, and I wanted other people to, as I've said, in the paper and as I've also said now I wanted other people to invest in my future as I feel like I have hence why I wrote that into the paper um, the other aspects of it I feel wasn't too bad to do such as uh, the referral letters from from teachers and that is because I was always a great student so I didn't feel any of my teachers had anything bad to say about me I achieved the GPA and their the attendance because I was working hard at it. Coin College to me was not just going to school. Coin College, I was learning a job. So to me, it was very important to be here every single day because of the fact that it, you're here for four and a half hours and a lot is covered in that four and a half hours. And to miss one day can push you far behind easily. And plus on top of that, I kind of figured if I had a really good attendance that employers would see that and be proud of that and that it would help me be hired. The GPA, it was very important to me to have a really high GPA because of the fact of that I knew that I wasn't just in school, I was learning a job. I was learning something to help me make money and help pay the school back, of course. Bills, buy a car, whatever you're gonna do with that money, this is what I'm gonna do as my career this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. So I had to pay attention in class in order to make sure that I knew what I was doing when I got out of school. My job search experience surprisingly didn't really last very long. Um, I didn't start searching for a job until September 1st um, and I got hired at Guardian Heating and Cooling on September 8th. Um, I put some resumes on some of the websites um, and then I had went on to Yelp and I started calling companies on Yelp because I wanted to work for a company that was, had a very good um, reputation and that I knew was a good company to work for. Um, that's how I found Guardian Heating and Cooling. They were, I believe, number two or number three on the list. And I called, they told me that I was, they were hiring and went, went in and I was hired on the spot. Coin prepared me by, of course, pretty much gutting um, every piece of HVAC equipment right in front of you, and then they tell you exactly what, what, what it is and what it does. Um, they start you off very, very, very small with just uh, the refrigeration cycle, tell you what every single component is and, and what it is and what it does and then build you up and build you up and then until finally you graduate and of course you don't know everything there is to know about HVAC 
but you are pretty confident when you leave the school. I would say big advice is uh, study as much as you can. Try and learn the material. Ask these teachers as many questions as you can. Even if you think it's a dumb question, ask. Don't be afraid. I have had questions that I thought was going to be out there dumb. And then when I asked the teacher, I had realized that other students in the room did not know the answer either. So study, 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 learn the material as best you can. Realize that you are learning a job. You're not just in school. This isn't high school. This isn't junior high or whatever it may be. This is something that you are learning in order to better your future. Um, this is what you're going to be doing for a living. So study, learn the material as best as you can. Show up every single day, that way you don't miss anything.